Good day, everyone. Thanks for joining us here in the charts. You're tuned in to the market beast. The market beast, your fellow compadre speaking. Ignore the intro, guys. Ignore it. Uh, today, we'll be taking an explore of the NXTD symbol special request. I'm going to pull up my infamous lines to see if we can understand the direction of the market here. If you're just stopping in, welcome. Really interesting times on this channel here professionalism as much as we possibly can but definitely interesting to say the least so if you'd love to join us and if you have an open mind the subscription button is there consider hitting it after we go over the content here uh, the youtube algorithm is picking up on the channel due to your engagement and your appropriate thumbs thank you for that Aloy subscribers welcome back let's go ahead and see what we have in this nxtd chart here um yeah let's get started in the charts here shall we all right so today's February the 24th, 2021, and the previous close of this stock is going to be $1.88. It closed positive approximately 2.1% for the day. All right, nice and smooth. All right, so here's the uh, infamous lines here on the chart. All right, that's it. Really simple. For those of you just stopping in, the yellow line is the breakthrough. The red line is the critical level. It must stay above. That line is pretty dangerously close to that line. Remember, assess your risk tolerance, okay? Uh, the, that level is at $1.88. It's actually right where the, uh, the the level closed at today. So uh, develop your strategy. Well, you should have a strategy, not develop a strategy. If you're still working on it, you continue to, to develop it. But before you hit those buy buttons out there, you must have a strategy. How much are you going to risk? How much you're going to put a stop loss if the market goes against you and have all that stuff predetermined before you enter these markets. I'm not paid to say this. This is again, this is just a request. I don't know if this is a scam. I have to get all that out of the way for, you know, I just got to get that out of the way. All right. So this overhead green line is going to be the longevity line, five dollars and eighty four cents. If it gets above and stays above that level. Yeah. Uh, there's some pretty extreme price targets. We're not going to go over. We're just going to take it a range from range. And right now the range is, like I said, a uh, dollar eighty-eight all the way up to a uh, five eighty-four. Pretty large range. So if it gets rejected from that level, I know someone's going to ask for an update. You don't really need an update. You just need to know that it's in a very large range. So if it wants to come all the way back down to a dollar eighty-eight, which I don't think it will happen, but don't take what I think would happen as financial advice. Like it can't go down and through that level and go all the way down to negative a dollar fifty-five. I don't know what this stock is. Maybe it can go to zero. I'm not sure, guys. We're not invested in this stock, okay? So I'm just going to go over the technicals here. And let's continue with the technicals. So as long as... what, what Here's what I'm, I'm looking at. Because these are weekly candles, right? So notice like this uh, buyer's commitment candle. I know that sounds weird. This uh, green candle right here. Uh, whoever committed to buying up the range in between uh, 37 cents all the way up to a uh, dollar 33 you see what they did they did a little bit of consolidating remember i'm just looking at the story okay i know there's a lot of new people they come in and they're like what is this guy talking about it sounds so weird i'm just explaining the story behind price action and what i'm doing is i'm just kind of picking out a uh, that looks like a little bull flag so what i do is i just kind of count the days that it consolidated it's basically consolidating within a flag before it makes its next before it makes it's next move. My brain is moving so fast. My words can't catch up with what I'm trying to say. All right. So what you do is you measure this. This is a bull flag right here for my technical guys. They already know. But if you're just kind of new and you don't have any idea about technical analysis, uh, what you see here, what I just put on the screen, it's considered a bull flag. Bull means that the price wants to go up. Bear means the price wants to go down. Um, and when you find like a pattern, this is considered the pattern, the bull flag. It consolidates within this pattern. And the way that you actually measure how high it can break out, break out meaning it can go to the upside or break out meaning it can go to the downside. Break out is exactly what it says. Break out of a pattern. This is a bull flag bull pattern i can't talk um it typically would break out to the upside assuming that the buyers are consolidating within this pattern and it'll break out to the upside um, it can appear as it's a bullish pattern and it can break out to the downside you just have to have a strategy that's all okay so let's get back to what i was explaining if the price consolidates within this bullish pattern the way that you actually measure the price target what you do is you do, you have an imaginary pole right you have a flag a flag and then you have a pole right so this area here would be the f the pole of the flag and then you just take a little trend line you start from the top the top of the flag and then you measure it all the way to the bottom where the flag kind of sits in the dirt or, or whatever that's a horrible explanation but you get what i'm trying to say 
So you just take that pole, right? You measure it there, and then you uh, put it on the actual breakout. Look at that. It actually came up perfect to the target. You see where it kind of wicked out right here? It went all the way up to uh, three dollars and uh, like nine cents. So that's basically how I know I have a lot of new technical guys just trying to get understand technical data, which some people think is useless. I mean, that's fine, guys. This is all I base my market entry and exit decisions on technical data, and we've been doing pretty pretty well so far. Uh, so right now. What I'm looking at is what I'm going to do is measure the time that it consolidated within this uh, bull flag. If it's an imaginary bull flag, I'm not sure. But this area here. So let's measure how much time. Let's see here. Okay. So 42 days. And what I do is I just kind of take a speculative assessment on how long could it take to do another consolidating range, right? And I start from this green candle. And I say, okay, let's just say it takes another 42 days. So it takes it on over to... Uh, about let's see uh, March the 29th so the end of March we're getting close to a, uh, the beginning of the month here in March so we can expect to see a move to the upside or the downside uh, towards the end of March as long as it can stay above like I already said a dollar 88 then I think it is in preparation to move to the upside as far as how to measure there's no real way depending on well, depending on what it, it has to form something, right? It has to form like in this area right here. It's pretty obvious that it formed a bull flag. At least to me, it's obvious. But right now we have to figure out what is it going to form? It could actually form, believe it or not, just a simple sideways consolidation. What I'll do is I'll just put like a rectangular range, something like that. And then the price could just kind of stay within this range, right? sideways consolidation between $1.88 all the way up to like $2.64. It can bounce up and down within this range, right? Uh, for the next 30 or just over 30 days. That's a possibility. If that were to take place, then I'd expect the trajectory to try to push to the upside. There may be a little resistance. I've done, I did a little bit of technical analysis to understand that there could potentially be resistance at the $4 level. That's not guaranteed, but again, I've just done a little very brief research. So let's just say that it actually makes that move towards the end of March, pure speculation speculation have an open mind please guys uh let's see here so 188 all the way up to four dollars will be 109 percent to the upside uh that's what i'm seeing on this symbol so far so you have the levels that need to stay above so just kind of you know assess your risk tolerance how much are you gonna risk to make 120 109 percent move to the upside uh, i'm not sure if i get my conservative players that would be the conservative play i guess if you because I, I, I talk to my conservative players a lot and if you just want to be like super conservative, just take 77% off the table uh, to the upside from the current level. That's at $3.33. So that's from my conservative players. That's how I would participate in this market if I were to enter this market. Okay, this isn't financial advice. So you have the levels. I know this was a lot to take in. I know it's all over the place, but um, that's pretty much all I have for you wonderful folks. Again, hopefully this was useful. Uh, leave an appropriate thumb just below the video there if you enjoyed the content. Uh, leave a comment. Let me know if you guys are invested in this stock. Uh, again, I don't know what this stock is, but it looks pretty interesting. Um, also, before you go, if you're new, we cover the alternative markets. I'm not sure if you're into Bitcoin and altcoins, but we cover that throughout the week. So we'd love for you to subscribe, uh, join us on this journey, a very interesting journey at times, and uh, join us here. So take care of yourselves. That's it. We're going to wrap up. Take care of yourselves, protect your portfolio, execute your strategies. We're going to talk very soon, and bye for now.